OK, I'm going to show you how to do two things, create an assignment and then see the student end of that. OK, so I have a practice course, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to add a material and I'm going to add an assignment. OK, and say I want them to Tell me about your weekend, okay, in three sentences or more, please tell me how your weekend was, okay. Um, I can uh, add a picture, okay, so let's try this. I'm going to add content. I'm going to add image media. And I am going to go to images.google and I'll type weekend. And um, I like this one. So I'm going to copy the link, the image ad address, go back to my course, add the link here, insert media. Here we go. Uh, it is a little large, so I'm just going to uh, shrink it down a little bit so it's a little more manageable. Okay, so there, now we have an image. Uh, due date. Okay, so I'm going to assign this. It's going to be due on Monday. So I'm going to have Monday. Uh, I want them to have it done by the end of the day. So I'm going to set the due date to uh, 3 o'clock. I'm going to make this worth just... Um, 20 points. I can pick a category. Um, if I have had categories um, developed, I can choose a specific one. I'm going to make sure submissions are enabled. Um, I am going to publish this to students, otherwise they can't see it yet. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone. Comments. Uh, I'm going to disable comments. It's really not a big deal. Uh, except I don't always get notifications for it, so it's not uh, very helpful, okay? If I wanted to copy this to courses from the beginning, I could click it here. If I decide later I want to copy it, I can still do that. So if I wanted to copy to this course, I could pick a folder to put it in and um, a due date to make it specific for that class and um, a category specific for that class, okay? But I don't really want to copy it right now. I just want to create it. Okay, so here is the assignment shows up on my view as a teacher. I'm going to pause this video for a second and go to my practice student, me, in the course and show you what it looks like from the student view. Okay, so now I'm logged into me as the student, and here is my only course, my practice course. And I click on it. I'm going to go down and look, here is my assignment. Tell me about your weekend. I can click it here or I can click over here. Either one takes me to the same spot. Okay, when I open the assignment, notice there's that lovely picture I uploaded. It says in three sentences or more, please tell me how your weekend went. So I'm going to click submit assignment. If I had already typed the assignment right here, I could choose File, and it would direct me to find a file on my computer that I wanted to upload. If I clicked the audio-visual recording, um, it is going to tell me, please use the supported browser. Right now I'm in Microsoft Edge, and it doesn't like it. You need to be in Google Chrome. So, However, if I was in Google Chrome and I clicked that, it would allow me to record audio or uh, video. Right here, you do not want students to write their response here. That is only a comment. So you would want students to click on create, okay? Uh, this weekend I went shopping. We had a lot of fun. I made s'mores. Okay, so that's three sentences, very basic, but again, uh, just to get the idea, I can click um, submit if I'm all done. Now, say I started this and I wasn't quite happy with it, I can do this. Save as draft as the student. 
Notice it shows up here as submission draft. I click on it and I'm gonna see exactly what I had. Again, I can save it as a draft or submit it at that point if I was sure I was done.